Good morning, guys. Welcome back to today. As you can see, winter has arrived. It has arrived and it's bringing all the challenges that I knew it would. My biggest fear is doing barn chores in winter. Like, honestly, it's like, I hate being cold. Hi, huh, honey bear. Still got some spots happening. She looks good as an Appaloosa, don't you? <laughs> She's like, don't touch me. We should make horse pajamas. Do you know how to make horse pajamas? Can you, fabric? Can you make them? Do you have a pattern? It's dinosaurs. <laughs> That's not what I mean. I don't know. I feel like we could do it. I feel like we could do anything we set our minds to. Okay, let's do that today. No, not today. We have other stuff we have to do. My head. Back in the olden days before YouTube and before horses, because horses honestly Wait, take, up, wants to come. take up all your time. I used to sew dog clothes. Hold my bottle. <laughs> wait, wait, stand fine. Wait, I'll just walk. Wow. Wait, there's another pizza. Okay, go. That's, the part That's thick ice. Now that Harvey's on the scene, it's true I feel a bit of a betrayal to Chino. Like, it's hard for my heart to, like, switch over. Does that make sense? And I've been thinking about how Chino changed our lives. They're like, you're late! Right. We're not even late. Anyways, I believe that we're all made differently or we're all at different parts of our journey and it's okay to be at different parts of your journey. I can't imagine a time where I'm not learning and changing and growing and 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 trying to be a better person, trying to be my best self. And I know everybody else is in the, that same boat. We're all learning and growing and trying to be our best self. Bless you, bless you. But my big belief is that there are always new people at whatever stage you're at in life and you're meant to find those people and spend time with those people and learn from those people and then they catapult you to the next stage of life, the next stage of learning. And I've always believed that, but where I get hung up is that when people are kind but still aren't who I need at that time, I still keep them around instead of moving on and saying thank you so much for everything you've done to us, done for us, but it's time for me to move on. I always stay and I know a lot of you guys do that, but the whole point of this is to say that I learned from Chino. I'm learning to be able to say, no, that's not good enough. I'm going to do something different instead of just being complacent and following the people because I believe in them. Like, if I feel in my heart something's not right, I need to move past that. And it doesn't matter if you hurt their feelings, which is the big thing for me. I don't want to hurt people's feelings. I don't want people to feel like I don't believe in them. I support people. And I'm sure there's a proper way to do it without hurting someone's feelings. But, and, and that's what I'm learning. I'm learning that I'm just going to do what I think is necessary even when someone else is telling me that I'm wrong. You've got to stop putting right in there for her. Yeah. Did this you? is with her bottle. Yeah. Anyway, that's long-winded. You probably don't know what I'm talking about. It's going to come up again in the next part of this video. Soon. <laughs> it's going to come up again, I promise. This little guy is tricky. He wants her grain. <laughs> He's going to go inside and get grain if I don't give him what he wants. Okay, I thought of a good example. So, I, you guys, I shared with you guys that I finally found um, some hay pellets, alfalfa hay pellets that I'm excited about. It took me a long time to find them, but when I finally found them, I was disappointed in them because it was... They were pellets, but they were a, a lot of them were like crumbled and were were powder. And the goats won't eat the powder; they will only eat like the actual pellet. So I feel like I'm just wasting my money buying this huge bag of pellets that they only eat half of. Instead of saying, "Nope, I'm not happy with these," and continuing to look, I just I just continue to buy the same brand that 
wasn't working for me. Um, and then recently I found another brand that is amazing. And I feel like, especially as women, we get so caught up in being kind and so caught up in just doing what we're supposed to do because that's what we're taught that we don't ever take the time to push for what we need. Yeah, that's it. That's what I'm trying to say. Does that make sense? Sophie's been stealing my treats for the horses, but that's because they're so nice. <laughs> Anyways, losing Chino has taught me this. Like, losing Chino has really, really, really taught me to stick to my guns and stand up for the things that are important to me. I told someone about these pellets that were like half mush and they weren't, my goats weren't eating them. They said so. Just use it anywhere, like anyways, like who cares? But it is important to me. Like so many things that I do with my animals are important to me and I never wanna push the boundaries. I never wanna to say to someone, no, I don't believe in this, I'm not doing that. And I do do that when it's absolutely necessary, but there are so many times when I when I just stick with the status quo and be the good girl that, that I'm supposed to be. And it's my birthday week, you guys. It is my birthday week. And I want this year to be about always standing up instead of being complacent. Does that make sense? Like, always standing up instead of just going with the way things happen. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but you guys know, like, with our medical care system, you don't really get a choice. Like, if your doctor doesn't do what you want them to do, doesn't doesn't you know take you seriously then you don't really have any recourses so you so quickly learn to just settle and I don't want to settle anymore I want to live my best life now I'm 54 am I 54 <laughs> I don't know I think I'm 54 this year I'm 54 this week and I want the rest of my life to be about choosing what is right for me instead of just going along hopefully that makes sense hopefully people don't attack me and think i'm talking about them because i'm not i'm talking honestly just about me but if anything that's what chino taught me and i'm happy for that are you happy for that <laughs> he's like are you gonna give me more grain i don't know why he does that with his head he's always swinging his head around so this is the grain that i'm talking about or this is the alfalfa pellets that i'm talking about see how nice it is I guess what I'm really trying to say is it's okay to walk away from something that doesn't meet your expectations without feeling guilty. Because I always feel guilty. I always feel guilty. This is where um, they all get rid of their goats because they don't want to take care of them through the winter. Sophie wants to go to the sales barn. I think we're goaded out for now. We're expecting babies soon. <laughs> I don't actually know if we're expecting babies. None of our goats came back into, well, neither of our goats came back into heat after they were bred. And I saw them be bred. You're really sweet. Actually, I saw Herbie bread. So, look at my non crooked fingers. I don't know if they're actually pregnant, so I might bring the buck back for a few weeks and see. Pregnant, These babies sure are getting really close to their parent size, though. This yeah. is Sophie's real baby. She loves Lola, but this is her baby, baby. I didn't even do anything to make this one friendly. I know, her mom is just a friendly girl, that's why. Is that the baby? Yeah. Ellie, come here quick! Come here quick! Come here quick! <laughs> Billy. <gasps> she is such a devil. Let her in, mom. She's not Stop! What the heck? Oh. You are a devil! Okay, this is an emotional vlog. I apologize. I don't know why I'm so emotional. So, so example number two, I noticed that Penny's feet have been getting a little bit longer throughout the summer because of all the grass she's eating. So I mentioned it at her last trim and the farrier said, yeah, like she's growing between trims so much more than she normally does. I asked the farrier to come back and do her again between trims. And I feel bad for asking her to come back because Penny would probably be fine. <laughs> Storm's like, oh, not you again. Just leave us in peace. You ready? Of course my farrier was like, yeah, of course. But I feel bad. I feel bad asking people to do more they already are doing. Like, I feel bad to, to ask people 
to meet my needs. And I don't know why. I don't know, I have no idea I, why. I have no idea why. I know it's common with women. I know a lot of women. Penny has no problem. All right, hold on. Wait, I'm gonna open this door. I know, it's noisy. Good girl. Come on. You've been in here before. So anyways, that's what today is. It's Farrier Day, just for Penny. So I can get her feet back to where they were because her feet have always been really tiny and perfect. She has such good feet and I fear horses getting longer feet than they need. It's only been a couple of weeks and her feet already look like to me that they need to be done. Today is definitely a day that we could use that heater back there because it is freezing in here. But I'm gonna brush my girl. my farrier she just finished she's awesome it was like a five second appointment it was amazing she came and I even said to her like I know I'm I'm neurotic I'm being neurotic and I'm like worried about toes being too long but I'm old now so I just you know I feel bad asking you to come for an appointment that she probably didn't need but I want to be that way now I just want to like do what I feel is necessary. So we're talking in the doorway, doors open, we're just chatting. All of a sudden, she says, oh, well, hello there. Somehow honey got out. I must not have closed the door. I heard some banging. Come on, you little missy. I swear, honey's like, oh, I thought I heard your voice. <laughs> just came to say hi, like a little old lady. Come on, get back in there. <laughs> get back in there. No. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna take my girl. She's got cute little feet again. What are you doing? That's a well, for goodness sake. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nope, come on. Ugh. She broke the door open. Honey, Penny's getting older now. And I just wanna like, maintain things that are doing well while I can. I don't know, I'm just making excuses for myself. I wanted her feet done because I noticed they're getting long and that's it, that's the new Laura. Your owner is literally gonna kill me. Thanks Penny, she was so good. And it was so good to have those moments alone, just her and I. There you go, a little treat for you. Be nice to people. A little treat for you. Hey, you'd be nice. All right, it's time you guys. It's that time of year. I finally found our heaters. So Sophie's gonna be the one. Oh, they're heavy. We're Sam's right hand man. Can you walk beside them? Wow, that was good thinking. He purposely made a hole in the wood so that we could put the heater in it. And that was a long time ago. You can put that in there. Throw it in. Fortunately, all of our horses drink cold water. <laughs> Icy cold water. Look at how cute her tail is. We have a freezing cold hack for you. Okay, so if you take your cold water from the fridge. Wait, 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 let's show it to them. So. Just Do you see? Water. It's just water. Okay. And then you bang it on something and it turns to ice. And it turns to ice. Do you guys see the difference? There's ice in there. I think mine's turned to ice. Sophie's is all ice. The silky cannot keep chickens warm. So silkies are kind of dumb in the chicken world. They're not like super smart. And what happened? She killed a baby. She didn't kill a baby. She let it freeze to death. This morning when I went out there, I could hear them crying. So I checked on them and she wasn't sitting on them, but I felt them and they were okay. They were nice and warm. And then I went back later and checked on them again. We've been checking on them like crazy. I checked on them again and she was sitting on them and they were nice and warm. So we went out again because we check on them all the time and one was pushed from her and 
was cold. Were the other two under her? Yeah, but they were freezing. Yeah, so she's just antsy. She's not sitting the way that she should sit on them. So we brought all the rest in. Our favorite one died. We have to put a cover on top of the chickens because we have a nice cat now. Because, where is that cat? Right there. Because our baby cat <laughs> likes to watch them. What is she chewing on? Oh, she's chewing on a collar. Anyway. Okay, this is the only white one we have left. Yeah, the other white one got my favorite one. So we have this one. No wonder the mom out there took the, her, the Silky's baby. She was probably like, this is not a good mom. She can't help it though. She's just a chicken. She doesn't know any better. Have you been rolling around? So anyways, we have eight now. Two out there and then a few of them in here. These Hi. these two black ones are the, are the, last, the last hatches. That one has a lot of weight. Oh, yeah. be nice, Pablo. So. Ugh, Pablo's a brat. You couldn't tell. So anyway, these are all the ones we have now, oh and they're God. all gonna stay inside. We're not gonna put any more with any chickens. It's too hard. Also happening on the day by day farm is that the toilet got plugged. Sam has his snake and he put it down there and he says he thinks there's an orange down there. I don't know how that could happen. So we called a plumber, a plumber is coming, but I wanted to show you guys some happiness amidst all the stress. So my friend Allison, you guys know, she sent me those boots for Chino and Chino before Chino died. And let's wait, let me pull it up here. Anyway, she was just at a show. She had open heart surgery five months ago and she just got back to showing. She showed on her big, beautiful horse and she won reserve, national reserve champion, like national reserve champion. Like watching this horse just makes me so excited it's stunning and beautiful i love him anyway i'm going to show you guys a little clip from that because i think that we should share each other she's a part of our community and such an inspiration that she can go through so much and then come back and win reserve national champion her horse is stunning so here um so i'll go ahead and watch this <laughs> 